Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, respected dignitaries and seniors, and uh, my dear colleagues, uh, good afternoon to all. So, uh, before starting the presentation, uh, I just want to tell you that this is about, we are talking about uh, artificial in intelligence uh, since yesterday. So, you all know that there is one hindrance in the artificial uh, intelligence, and that is human intelligence. So the, my uh, presentation is about the human intelligence. When it comes between the artificial intelligence, then AI will fail. So these are the context of my presentation. Uh, we're talking about some of the business segments which uh, I shall have, some inherent tricks, uh, the case study, and if the time permits, some uh, control measures of also uh, related to environment and public safety. So uh, when we talk about the CGD sector, like IGL is a CGD company, well, we call, uh, talk about the CGD sector. So CGD sector has no limit and no boundaries. Like uh, most of presentation that you have seen are of a limited space or limited premises, or maybe the plant maybe of 100 acres, but it is a limited space. But CGD sector is not a limited space. It is a long boundary. Uh, there is no uh, uh, rail boundary, road boundaries, and uh, city boundaries, state boundaries. CGD sector is very vast and uh, spreaded. So if I'll talk about the uh, IGL business, so we have uh, like uh, 2.41 million uh, domestic customers around in Delhi, UP, Navada, and uh, Gurugram. Uh, around 668 CNG stations are operational currently in these areas, in, in these geographical areas. Around 5,500 plus commercials are there, commercial customers, which are using gas. And uh, around 3,500 plus industries are there. So uh, this is how we uh, manage our business. Uh, since I told you already that uh, we have a very spread and vast business uh, with no, with a very vast boundaries. So at different, different strategic locations, we have different, different PNG control rooms who are managing the complaints and uh, emergencies of uh, the domestic customers. And uh, similarly, we have some 11 CNG control rooms in different, different areas of uh, Delhi and CR to manage some emergencies and uh, complaints related to CNG stations. So this is about the business. If we will talk about the business risk, the inherent business risk and safety framework of IGL. So as a CGD business, we are dealing with the public, the, like the topic says, environment and public safety. So we are dealing with public 24-7. So that business activity that we IGL have is the commissioning of commissioning, pipeline, operation, maintenance, and CNG construction, uh, commissioning, and operation maintenance. So hazards involves are like gas leakage, pressure gauge, ignition source, or unsafe conditions. Top event may be the gas fire, explosion, or body injury, we call it. The most important thing is whom and what at risk. So the employee, of course, they are working in a company, so they are at risk, the contractual staff at risk. The most important thing that we are talking about now is to the public, the general public that are dealing with CNG and PNG 24-7 of their uh, routine life, and the property and environment also. Some of the control measures that we have, like system design with the ISO procedures, some statutes, guidelines, all the systems are designed in such a way. So this is just an overview of a CNG station framework of IGL, uh, how a CNG station work, uh, safety framework looks like. So we, got, uh, we are like uh, following the statutory guidelines, the OSD, G gas cylinder rules, all those things. The station overview is like that. And this is uh, just a framework of uh, the uh, PNG installations. Like there are some regulations related to PNJRB or OISD. Some tech T4 standards is there from PNJRB, so we are following that. And in IGL, that, uh, uh, we have also implemented the life-saving rules also. Uh, some nine life-saving rules we have also implemented for the other related one, uh, other than the CNG PNG related works. So the topic for the today mainly is the case study. So there was an incident. Uh, uh, I guess three years ago, uh, occurred at one of the stations where a cylinder fails during the gas filling. So we are just going to discuss that, that what had happened, what had went wrong, and how artificial intelligence may uh, uh, hindrance uh, when the human intelligence come in force. So the date was 24th July 2019. It was an IGL station where uh, on the early morning of uh, 21st, uh, 24th July, so you can see there is a vehicle uh, being refueled at the stations. So the vehicle come at the, 
the vehicle come at the station, the DSM, as per his procedure, check the compliance plate of the vehicle, check the documents of the uh, vehicles, and uh, just to engage the filling nozzle uh, to the vehicle for the gas refilling. And he, of course, doesn't know then what will happen after 15 seconds. So just after 15 seconds, one of the cylinder is failed, or you can say burst due to the high pressure. So this is the thing. Uh, if you can see that in the first photograph, there were three cylinders in the dorsal of the truck. So if you ideally see uh, the cylinders, you will not find that these cylinders are maybe connected to the CNG or uh, the fittings, fitments of the CNG. You will see that these cylinders are for the storage purpose, which are in the standing position, maybe tied with the, for the, uh, maybe on to and fro purposes. But uh, after the explosion occurs, when the investigations occur, so we found that all these cylinders were connected to the main CNG cylinders with a, a retrofitment arrangement of 4 5 mm steel piping. So the CNG cylinder generally uh, is a testing pressure of uh, 340 bar pressure. So these cylinders are connected with the CNG cylinder uh, for the uh, filling of gas, for the extra filling of gas. So generally if you will see the documents, there are only two cylinders registered in the documents in the compliance plate also. So, but these three cylinders are retrofitted or unauthorized cylinders that you have. Now the point is ki how the cylinders exploded. If they are designed for the same pressure, same uh, cylinder, same chemical, how this pressure, uh, how the cylinders was exploded? So the answer will be this. So these cylinders which are used as a retrofitment are of freon cylinders. So if uh, you know the freon cylinder has a working pressure of 26 bar and a testing pressure of 45 bar. So you can see if a cylinder which is tested for 345 and operating pressure of 200 bar is uh, completing with the, the, CN, the pressure of uh, uh, CNG. The frame gas is the mainly gas which is used in the ACs also. So after all the incident happens, there was of course a police complaint was lost against uh, the driver and the authority, uh, the agency which has uh, retrofitted the cylinder. So I'll tell you what the integration uh, is like. So when the driver and the owner of the cylinder was asked like how, why he has uh, like opted for the, these type of frame cylinder, is he has any knowledge or something like that. So what he said, so he said ki, uh, like it, it was a monsoon season, like coward ka time jo hota hai. So the driver or the owner said ki hume coward jana hai haridwar leke. And uh, do cylinder mein humari gas aati nahi, puri gas nahi hoti hai, haridwar jake haani paate hai. Toh humne socha ki teen cylinder ho lagwa lete hai. So this is the statement that he had given to the police. But he said that I have no idea about like, the guidelines or the rules, how to put the cylinder in the guidelines or the rules, how to put the cylinder in the But the agency is the retrofit. He should have warned me or he should have told me that this cylinder is not compatible with the CNG. Okay? So again, the complaint was lodged uh, uh, for the retrofitment center. We asked the owner of the retrofitment center so he was eloped initially, but uh, he was caught by the police. And uh, during the interrogation, uh, he told police that uh, he has no knowledge about uh, such things. He told that that I just know that the cylinder fit is done. If there is a gas, what are the cylinder's properties? What are the pressure handle? Karna hai usko, wo, that knowledge I do not have. So this is the uh, thing. This was when human intelligence came. जब ह्यूमन जब इंसान जब अपना दिमाग ज़्यादा दौड़ने लग जाता है, तो some of the things that we are showing about uh, auto AI. So AI कहीं ना कहीं हम सोचते हैं कि are we really such compatible for the AI when such uh, human intelligence people are available in the world. So after the incident, some of the correctivations that we are already doing at the IGL stations. So first of the uh, correctivations, maybe the always get the complete fitted CNG cylinders and get it retrofitted by only PESO approved agencies. So PESO, which is the uh, governing body for the, uh, the CNG stations has uh, approved many agencies, around uh, 100 plus agencies are there. And if I I'll talk about the Delhi NSA, there are around 40-50 uh, agencies in Delhi which are PESO approved. So maybe we can uh, get it retrofitted from PESO approved agencies. Just because they are uh, maybe charging much or some agencies which are not approved or unauthorized may be charging low. We are that uh, that uh, motivates the such customers to go for uh, unauthorized retrofitment. The checking of hydro testing of cylinders and its compliance plate before the gas filling that that's we are doing at the stations. Physically measure the cylinders 
Sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not possible because some of the cylinders are at such locations that uh, we cannot watch the cylinder is okay as per the compliance or as per the document or not. But as far as possible, we are trying that we can physically match it. The checking the license, uh, license number of hydrating agencies for checking the genuineness of test certificate. And deny the gas refilling that at ideal station, if you go, if any of you have a CNG vehicle, if you go at any of the ideal stations, and if your uh, CNG vehicle compliance plate is not valid, then you will be denied uh, of the gas. So these are the com some of the corrective actions uh, that we have from the that incident. Now what like IGEL is doing to prevent such incidents? So risk control measures. So start from the environment safety. Of course, सबसे पहले जब भी हम environment की तरफ बात करते हैं, so we have to conduct the aspect impact analysis. And for the safety, we have to conduct uh, HERA, that is hazard and infection risk analysis. Some of the common stuff that um, maybe all of the industries are doing for the environment pollution, the waste disposal to CPCP approved agencies. Uh, one of the initiatives and uh, innovative uh, suggestion that we have uh, that we have implemented in IGL is we have reduced the paper waste by implementation of app-based mobile permit system. So what is the uh, requirement of that mobile app safety system? So in this uh, slide, uh, we have made, I have made just a factual calculation about what is the effect of implementation of air-based safety work permit system to the environment. So if you study all the first three points and you'll go to the last four po last point, you'll see that we have indirectly, maybe by reducing the paper waste, we have uh, in last three, four years, we have indirectly reducing the cutting of 30, 40 trees, if you will go by the, those facts from Google or from Cora and from some of the facts from Environmental Prote Protection Agency. Sir, may I ask you Certainly. Yes. So two minutes only. So for environment pollutions, that acoustic panel let change stations are installed for treatment. So this is the kit man, retrofit man agencies. We have uh, arranged uh, workshops for uh, kit man agencies, hundred testing agencies uh, who are uh, in Delhi and CR in nearby regions. We have also enhanced. The, uh, we have also conducted the workshop for enhancement of CNG cylinder facility hydro testing with peso also. Some of the initiatives by IGEL for improvements at the stations, some display boards for the public, so camp distribution, the vehicle safety gas leak check for the vehicle. We also conducted hazardous area classification study as per IS 5572 at the station. Some pipeline damage, sensitization of public, SMS social media for the regular interviews, authorizing units, cathodic protection systems, SCADA system, mapping of line with GIS, regular meetings with uh, authorities, VTS system. Uh, we have also a place system in place of domestic leakage survey in which uh, we go to the particular house and we check whether the smell of gas is coming or not. And we took the uh, authority of the uh, customer also. So the dial before dig system is also there, stone marker, pole marker for the, we have also a hotline with Delhi police and Delhi fire service. So for consumer safety, we also conduct door-to-door -door services training for consumers, those who are using PNG. So some of the photographs of the consumer safety awareness sessions. We are also conducting awareness session for De Delhi Fire Service and UP Fire Service also, so some of the photographs of those sessions. Uh, Gaziaba Development Authority, we have also utility coordination with them, DDA and GDA. We have also conducted some training and awareness session for them also. This is how some the SMS, how to how the SMS will go, and the joint inspection report. We have one uh, arranged one CNG truck operators also, uh, one training session for CNG truck operators also. Uh, training and sensitization of local JCB and SDD machines operators. Scala control, we have that all the system of IGL at CNG stations are connected to a source collector at stations, and it is the data will be feeded to the main Scala panel, which is at Kakanagar. We are using acoustic pipeline locator for uh, just identifying of the gas pipeline in case of any damage. And we have a gas detection system for FRS field recognition station. So in case of any gas leak nearby in the FRS, that system will uh, SMS the control room concern in charge and the fire and safety in charge of the, so that they will know that there is a gas leakage or there is a uh, high gas leakage or low gas leakage getting to the LEL also. Authorization of gas as per the requirement, some fire and safety initiatives. And for the public safety, we are also conducting some emergency response preparedness mock drills also, with uh, including some authorities also, level one and level two mock drills. So these are the some photos only. And these are the some of the recognitions award that IGL has received. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir.
Thank you, Mr. Gaurav, for the case study presentation of IGL Limited. And uh, he has given a good, wonderful presentation how the how uh, drivers or the general public compromise with the quality of the cylinder, which cause which can cause disaster. safety ke bare mein kaam ke baad kaam ke saath aapki suraksha aapke haath we should not com compromise the quality to get a safety environment everywhere now i invite mr ajay kumar director aika waterproofers private limited for giving a presentation on entrapped dampness, the third dimension of waterproofing and structural rehabilitation. Please welcome Sri Ajay Kumar. Hello. Hello. Uh, he is the last speaker of the session in between us and lunch. So I may request him as the conventional chairman already warned us that we should hand over the dials back to him at 13.30. So please be limited to t 10 minutes and be limited to only use of artificial intelligence in leak detection and leak services and your product. Okay? Yes. Yeah. All the dignitaries on the dais, the SQL forum, and its two engineers, on all the delegates here, I formally welcome you on behalf of ICA to this summit, and also the Amrit Mahotsav, which is which has started on this 15th. So, ladies and gentlemen, so my basic subject and. The best thing is, Dr. Amri said, the human intelligence. So, please give me your ears. Thoda sa time mere paas, but I think if you give me 10 minutes, I'll make my point home. Okay. And, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm talking today is very important. Why? It is concerning a loss of annual 2 lakh crores. I repeat an annual loss of 2 lakh crores and more to the nation because of the human intelligence and the shortcuts, the deficiencies in the system. So I have researched 23 years on this subject, why the life of buildings is decreasing by the day. So. Eventually, that pearl came out to be entrapped dampness, the third dimension of waterproofing and structure rehabilitation. So I'll start with, okay, before that, I'll, we have actually published a paper, so I'll request my colleague to please uh, share this on the dais and to others, so that it will connect to it. So starting with Azadi Amritka Mahutsav, I'll just uh, take your permission to sing two songs, with two lines of a song. Sir? Sir, I'll close in 10 minutes. That's a commitment. Vaishnav jan to tini kahi eje Peer parahi jane re Vaishnav jan to tini kahi eje Peer parahi jane re 
पर दुख है उपकार करे सोई पर दुख है उपकार करे सोई मन अभिमान न आई वे वैष्णव जन तो थीनी कही ये जे पीर पराई जाने रे सकल लोक मा सहुरे बंदे निंदा न करी तीनी वे वैष्णव जन तो तीनी कही ये जे पीर पराई जाने रे थैंक यू The, I'll quickly sum up. The reasons for early distress which we have found is, one is the chalta hai attitude of the engineer in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll be shocked to hear that we are at an almost 100% failure rate in the country in waterproofing. मॉइस्चर कंटेंट माय पैरामीटर इज मॉइस्चर कंटेंट अभी सीरियस बात करते हैं स्पेसिफिक जैसे साहब ने कहा ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस एक आई इंटरव्यू में टू इन टू 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 प्लस टू कि भाई क्या होता है एक आई टी आई एम कॉम्बिनेशन को दे दिया और उसको कहा भाई ये कैलकुलेटर है ये लॉग है लॉग लॉग रिथिम्स हैं आधे घंटे तक वो नहीं बता पाया सो दिस इज द बेसिकली स्टेट हमारे पास एक से एक एसेट है कंट्री में ठीक है स्टिल वी आर नॉट टिल टूडे इवन एक्नोलॉजिंग द मॉइस्चर कंटेंट सो ये जो मैंने सर के बाल आधे सर ये मैं पिछले आप ही के विज्ञान भवन के सेमिनार से मैंने आधे बाल रखे हैं और धरना पे हूँ मैं बट मेरे मेंटोर ने कहा कि इससे पैसा नहीं लेना काम करो इसलिए और फाइनेंस करो इसको तो मैंने तीन चीज़ मांगी हैं गवर्नमेंट से वन इज मॉइस्चर मैनुफैक्चर गारंटी इन वाटर प्रूफिंग आज तक नहीं था पहली बार सी पी डब्ल्यू डी ने तीन में एक्सेप्ट कर लिया और एन एस जी ने किया तो मेरे करीब बीस तीस ठेके कराए इस बार और ब्यूटी क्या है उसकी अनप्रोफेशनलिज्म इन द इंडस्ट्री क्या है कि माइनस तीन तीस परसेंट ठेका डाल दो एंड इंजीनियर विल स्टैम्प इट एज कंप्लीटेड सर्टिफाइड एज पर स्पेसिफिकेशन तो ये हमने सबसे बड़ा हिट किया इस अपनी कंडीशन से उससे क्या हुआ कि स्टैंडर्ड कोटेशन आने लगे नॉन एडहेरेंस टू द आई एस एंड स्टैंडर्ड स्पेसिफिकेशन ये एक बड़ा इशू है 1980 में एशियड आया तो वहां पे क्या हो गया कि एक स्पीड आ गई कि जैसे ये सेमिनार है ना अभी रात देखा हमने कि भाई डिसमेंटल किया फिर मेंटल करना है अब इसमें क्या है कि स्पीड आ जाती है कि भाई हमें साढ़े बजे वी हैव टू बी इन दिस रेडी पोजिशन तो कॉमनवेल्थ में हमारे पास ऐसा ही टारगेट था भाई फटाफट स्लैब डाल दो टारगेट वॉल स्लैब डल जाए बाकी जो हुए हुए क्योरिंग हुए नहीं हुए बट वो क्या हो गया वो प्रैक्टिस बन गई हमारी एंड लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन आई टेंडर एडवांस अपॉलोजी फॉर दिस जो हम लोग पिछले 40 साल में डैमेज किया है ठीक है ये डैमेज पिछले 40 साल उन्नीस में सौ साल होती थी लाइफ आज चालीस साल पर स्ट्रगल कर रहे ठीक है तो बहुत बड़ा इशू है इसलिए मैंने कहा दस मिनट भी देंगे आप मुझे अपने तो मेरा काम हो जाएगा इग्नोरेंस इस पे बात हो गई है टेस्टिंग क्लैरिटी अब एक बिल्डिंग आ गई नहीं भाई इसको एक्सेप्ट कर लो कैसे एक्सेप्ट करें व्हाट इज द टूल विद द इंजीनियर तो मैंने दिया सर पहला टूल ये हिंदुस्तान को क्या पूरे दुनिया को एक मॉइस्चर मीटर पाँच सौ के मॉइस्चर मीटर से आप टेस्ट कर लो कि भाई एंट्राप डैम्पनेस कितनी है चौदह से ऊपर है डोंट गिव मी द कम्पलीशन सर्टिफिकेट दिस इज द चैलेंज ठीक है बाकी सब चीजें सर सेकेंडरी है ये ये सर एक बहुत छोटी सी चीज है राइजिंग डैम्पनेस वर्ल्ड डैम्पनेस का सर वी आर द पाइनियर्स इन द वर्ल्ड मेरे तीन पेटेंट ऑलरेडी हो चुके हैं ठीक है ओके ओके थैंक यू ठीक है सर तो बेसिकली आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिसीव थ्री पेटेंट्स कॉपीराइट्स एंड प्रोसेस पेटेंट्स आई फाइल्ड 
फॉर दिस वाटर प्रूफिंग एंड रिहेबिलिटेशन जो भी कमी थी टूडे यू हैव सोल्यूशन आज आपके पास में रेफरेंस है सोल्यूशन हैं एक छोटी सी चीज़ बताता हूँ सर राइजिंग डैम्पनेस क्या इशू है क्यों प्रॉब्लम है और ये क्यों हुआ सो so बेसिकली आप देखेंगे कि ये एक छोटा सा इशू है कि आई एस ये नहीं कहता है करा क्या हमने कि पहले जो हम करते थे ये प्लिंथ बीम के ऊपर में प्लास्टर करा हमने तो प्लास्टर बेसिकली ये थ्रू कर दिया हमने ऊपर से नीचे तक कर दिया सो so बेसिकली हमारी सप्लाई ये चली गई ऊपर तक दैट्स वाई टिल टूडे वी डोंट हैव ऐसी हमने जो फाउंडेशन था ब्रिक वाला उसमें भी ऐसी हमने किया पूरा कर दिया डीपीसी क्यों डाला किसी को पता ही नहीं है द जूनियर इंजीनियर द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर द सुपरवाइजर किसी को पता नहीं है भाई डीपीसी क्या होता है कि अच्छा सेरेमोनियल कुछ होता है उसे डाल देते हैं और अक्रॉस सेट प्लास्टर कर दिया करना क्या था ये करना था कि भाई एंड दिस इज आई मैंने पच्चीस साल पढ़ा सर इस पहले पढ़ा ये हमने या तो इसको अंदर रखना था दस एम mm या बाहर रखना था आइसोलेट करना था हमने ये ऐसी प्लिंथ बीम को आपने क्यों प्लास्टर करना है एक एम पच्चीस को प्लास्टर करके आप भाई क्या अचीव करने वाले हो कुछ नहीं ठीक है सो so, आपको अगर ठीक है रखना है स्टोन टाइल रखिए यहाँ पे बट ग्रूव चाहिए सो दिस इज एक छोटा सा एक बताया सर कि वेयर वी आर तो वो जो है कि ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस कहाँ गई भाई ये डिजाइनर क्यों नहीं समझ पा रहे आइडियंस क्यों नहीं समझ पा रहे इस इशू को नहीं ये कॉन्शियसनेस नहीं है एंड इसीलिए सर मुझे ये धरना पर जाना पड़ा अब मैं सबके लिए एक ये सर ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटी क्या है हमारी सर सारी टेक्नोलॉजीज की कि विद इज ऑल विदाउट डिसमेंटलिंग हमने बिल्डिंग को एज अ ह्यूमन बीइंग कंसिडर किया भाई आदमी एक्सीडेंट हो गया उसका कुछ नहीं काटते हैं जब तक कि भाई वो डॉक्टर का सजेशन नहीं हो जाए तो उसी सेंसिटिविटी से हमने ये बेसिकली रेवोल्यूशन टेक्निक्स एंड दीज ऑल हैव बिन टेस्टेड फॉर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स आई डेंट हैव एनी प्लान टू गो इन टू बिजनेस ओनली एक यहाँ पे एपिसोड हुआ दिल्ली में कि 32 करोड़ की एक बिल्डिंग 2008 में बनी 2010 में कमीशन हुई और 2020 में आईटी ने उसे 100 परसेंट डिस्ट्रेस डिक्लेयर किया और बत्तीस करोड़ की रिपेयर लग गई जबकि उसकी 70 परसेंट कोर टेस्ट हुई है एम तेईस से एम सत्ताईस और कोर टेस्टिंग कैसे करते हैं जो जानते हो कि वी लुक फॉर हनी कॉम्बिंग्स कि कहाँ वीक हो जाए जिससे कि हमारी टेस्टिंग तो पता चलेगी So, अभी we don't have the time, but we have everything. Or tunnels under ये सर हमारा certificate है twenty three years spotless certificate without maintenance issued by MES. और MES में मेरी approval नहीं हो रही है. किसलिए? Because ये मैंने अच्छा काम करके दिया उनको. ये मैंने जनरल साहब को विद्या विज्ञान भवन में कहा तो मेरी presentation हुई finally बीस साल बाद. So this is कि ये technology है. ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस लगानी पड़ेगी हमें इसमें सो वाटर प्रूफिंग एंड सेक्टर रिहेबिलिटेशन इज नॉट अ प्रोडक्ट जैसे आपने कहा कि भाई हम गलती कर रहे हैं और हम सोच रहे हैं आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस ठीक कर देगी कि भाई प्रोडक्ट ठीक कर देगा अरे भाई नहीं फ्रैक्चर है फ्रैक्चर को ठीक करो अभी सर वी आर डूइंग द सो वी हैव रेपुटेशन ऑफ डूइंग द वर्स्ट केस जो कोई सब हाथ खड़े कर देता है आई कहता है गिरा दो कहता है नहीं तीस साल के लिए जिंदा करो स्ट्रक्चर को so this is my mentor who actually gave me this task in 2016 he is professor sushil kumar from iit rurki a person who was instrumental in giving 245 iit phd to the country and designed the longest span bridge in india this could not be done by iit kharagpur after taking 2 crore fees so i owe everything i do now to this gentleman and i think sir i should close in this with the only two social requests that we should use the rear seat belts and another thing very which is actually i don't know how we are i should say that our seniors our parents need help so they need a social system because what i am actually seeing is nowadays that our elders theek hai we are providing them food but jo unko social system chahiye that's not around them so with that i think sir i should close jai hind
friends, uh, we are at the vanguard of the session. I request the co-chairman, Dr. Yadav, to please give his views and sum up the session. Thank you. Thank you, sir. In this session, three speakers, learned speakers, fourth including Mr. Rajay Kumar. I remember he spoke last time also during this forum and he suggested so many problems, but always he gives problems to us to make us very concerned, but he doesn't suggest any remedy that again I felt today, which he should suggest some remedy or way forward also, so that our building should not get damped and moistured. Anyway, thanks to him for his promotion of his own activities. And the three learned speakers, namely Mr. Mr. P. S. Uttarwar, who is advisor, Huda, he spoke about the application of artificial intelligence to forecast rain, prediction of rain, weather forecasting, etc., so that hazards could be avoided. The next speaker, Mr. Sorakya, who is known to us since long, also spoke about the uses and application of artificial intelligence in road safety since he has been very longly associated with Central Road Research Institute, that is an premier entity of CSIR, Government of India. Everybody is today concerned about the road safety since the major incident took place recently. But after four or five days again, we'll forget and our safety measures in mind will get reduced and will become slack and carefree. So in the next week, again, it may happen. So ladies and gentlemen, this forum is giving you a very serious warning and alert that we should never avoid safety even for a minute in our day-to-day -day life and in public life. Otherwise, there is no remedy, no medicines, no traffic personnel, no administration, no procession, no agency. It's our mindset which will protect the entire nation, world, society at large. And other speaker, Mr. Gaurav Kumar, also gave insight about the safety measures to be taken in various areas like environmental hazards, etc. He gave example of IGL gas cylinder, we took also some serious problem. So in this way, the session summarized that the safety adoption is of paramount importance with the modern technology like artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, etc. Ladies and gentlemen, the word artificial makes some sense. There is no substitute for human intelligence, but everything can't be done by the human beings because human beings has a lot of responsibility to do the management and to formulate the policy. That's why the technologists, engineers, and scientists have evaluated or framed, formulated some technology related to the software, computer, hardware, known as artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, etc. Cyber security has come into force, which is also a sort of technology due to which we can control, manage, reduce the cyber crime, which is happening day to day day. So with these all backgrounds, you have enriched your knowledge about the safety measures, environmental management and control, monitoring of the ambient air quality, etc. Our chairman has in the beginning said a lot about this, so I would not take much time. So our chairman will finally uh, say words of wisdom on this August gathering. So I think you must take way forward that safety should not be avoided even for a minute. Thank you very much. Friends. 
due to the time constraints we are not going to have any question session and if you have any issue you can discuss the individual authors regarding our issue during the lunch time and even uh, also on whatsapp and mobile because nowadays virtual learning is better than the physical anyhow i will say a few more words yeah, as a, we have seen the next decade starting of 1930 is going to be a decade of uh, artificial intelligence so i request the safety inquiry forum of uh, institution of india to take and 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 we do not know too much our uh, public and our uh, students do not know about the safety and quality forum so i request the safety and quality forum to take crash courses on artificial intelligence for the benefit of the society for the benefit of the public and hope all of us who have wide knowledge about the subject will contribute to it thank you very much i hand over the session to convention chairman Thank you very much, Chairman Sir. Now you have to perform another small duty. Now I request the kindly present small movement to to our speakers. Listen, I. to shri ajay no ajay kumar has been changed to govra kumar thank you mr ajay kumar you have to bear us because uh, uh, mr ajay kumar is not there so we are giving you then we later on we can change it because he in the moment is already ready सर श्री पी एस उत्तरवा एडवाइजर हरियाणा शहरी विकास निगम प्राधिकारी फॉर्मर हुडा सर डॉक्टर अमरीश सोखारिका श्री गौरव शर्मा अब तो हो गया था ना आपका नाम नहीं है इसमें आपका नाम नहीं है ना इसमें अजय अजय कुमार अजय कुमार शैश कोऑर्डिनेटर श्री आर एन अरोड़ा सर को चेयरमैन डॉक्टर एच आर पी यादव फॉर्मर एस डी जी इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ इंजीनियर no i request dinesh kumar ji kindly present movement to session chairman koi baat nahi sir this is protocol has to be followed sir ha ji acha photo acha sir ha thank you very much thank you chairman sir for uh, completely well in time just one we have given me one minute extra we before so i want to say something about that tomorrow's visit as you know that we have planned the visit to santa vista there is some restriction there because of the you know uh, security that no mobile phone is allowed number one no photography on site because of the security 
and we have to assemble here in the uh, parking near the uh, rail bhavan that is metro station is center sector and metro station rail bhavan so we are all will assemble there from where uh, from there we will walk to uh, centra vista any question 10:15 10:15 10:15 am morning ah 10:15 am because uh, uh, restrictions are apply up to 9 o'clock sir because from 6 o'clock today uh, today evening to morning there is restriction of up, up to 9 o'clock sir no movement is allowed yes, we will uh, because we are now about 80 people so we are going to distribute in three groups uh, we have everything will be available to you and any information required you mr uh, you can talk to our mr pande who is coordinating with this and about whatsapp whatsapp group acha what what whatsapp group has already been prepared the person who has given their concern they have been added in the group so kindly be touch with that group and you all information will be available so uh, for tomorrow's visit because this is very sensitive area so we have to follow some protocols and i request all the delegates and uh, who are going to visit the center visit kindly follow the instructions of the company which is going with us because we are, we are not allowed inside the party and we are fortunate enough that today prime minister is going to inaugurate it and day after tomorrow we got this opportunity to visit this so kindly uh, because you know dj when i was student at that time was allowed to visit the parliament and when i came uh, to so rupee service then i allowed to visit the parliament otherwise no visit to parliament nobody allowed to go inside the parliament so we got this opportunity